Rampage in our main event where Lee Moriarty very quickly running out of options against Katsuyori Shibata. Moriarty trapped in this figure four leg lock. He's already down one rope break and now with only one more rope break remaining, he's used two. Lee Moriarty used his second rope break. And Shibata now has the advantage because Lee Moriarty the next time he gets to the ropes. Shibata, any submissions oh. after that, does not need to relinquish the hold. Damn, with these shots. Those four shots are, will make a defensive football do me happy. Jumping knee in the corner. Good job, Moriarty, following him in the corner. Look at this. Two and, oh, you saw Moriarty. He was in the bridge, but that left leg of his bothering him. And now, Moriarty using Using the ridge hand, those were not closed fist strikes. That, that was the ridge hand. Because remember, closed fist strikes not permitted in the Ring of Honor Pure Rules match. A lot of little nuances in these matches that you kind of have to get used to or accustomed to somewhat. And JR, a match like this not only tests a wrestler's technical ability, but also his mental ability to think on his feet. The, that's a real good point. Mental ability, because there are these nuances. And mastering these nuances, Tony, can win your matches. Yeah, right now, uh, JR and Excalibur got Lee Moriarty down. Let's see what he does. He being Shibata here. I, I wouldn't be surprised he tried another submission hold to try to get him to get his third rope break in. You know, I think Shibata is well on his way to becoming the number one talent in New Japan. And that's a lot of people speculating on that. He's hammering him in, man. Yeah. You could hear. The physicality of those shots, and now Shibata. Oh, oh is the difference! And cracks Moriarty with the drop kick. God Almighty, you can hear the, the shoe leather on the face of Moriarty. Nice suplex, floats over. Lateral press, and got a near fall. And Shibata, as we saw in picture in picture, he was locked in some submission holds by Lee Moriarty. Moriarty was going after Shibata's leg to take away that prodigious kicking ability of Lee Katsuyori Moriarty Shibata. has used his third oh. and final rope break. Wow, how about that? I didn't that, that slip that one in. And then Shibata gets rolled up and no, Moriarty hangs on. He's looking for the Border City stretch. Border City stretch is locked in. Katsuyori Shibata could be in trouble. And he could lose by submission. It will be headlines. You notice how Shibata, he's pulling down on Moriarty's hands right. to prevent his breathing from being inhibited. But Moriarty doing a good job of wrenching up on the head and neck. Also, Moriarty uh, making the... His, his, wait, 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 here we go. Start to say he was having to carry the weight of Moriarty, and that's not easy. Now remember, Lee Moriarty out of rope breaks the Boom. next time. Boom. Oh, Shibata, he starts him with that, and now... The sleeper hold is locked in. Oh, that's it. He's Isn't going out. Moriarty fading. Lee's getting sleepy. And the PK Kai You gotta be kidding me. Good Lord. The winner of this match and still Ring of Honor Pure Champion, Katsuriori Shibata. We just seen a great example of why Shibata is a great champion. Man, what a win. It was an intense. Highly technical, highly physical match, but Katsuyori Shibata remains the Ring of Honor Pure Champion. And that kick was intended to do damage. It did just exactly that. And now, the former Ring of Honor Pure Champion, Daniel Garcia. He may want him to lose Shibata. Yeah, he may. Garcia may want to get his title back. But in order to do so, he's gonna have to go through one of the toughest men walking planet Earth in Katsuyori Shibata. Highly skilled, amazing technician, but this kid, uh, uh, he's a little screw loose, guys, I think. Well, Daniel Garcia, don't call him a pro wrestler. He is a sports entertainer, but an exceptionally gifted one. This is a situation worth keeping our eye on, JR. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for being with us. For Tony, that's Calder. I'm JR saying good night, everybody.